I'm Justin Hewitt, the 1996 Olympic gold medalist in the sport of archery for individual and team, but today I was the arrow runner. Uh, my name is Vic Wonderly, and I was on the U.S. archery team for 25 years as a three-time Olympian with an Olympic silver and bronze medal. Today I'm a scorer. Uh, I watch the TV monitor, write down the scores when they hit, and then we walk out to the field and confirm the scores real quickly, so that way we get people back shooting as fast as we can, keep it looking good for the viewers at home. 29, it means you just have to safely walk the arrows from the target to the shooter with A, not tripping and falling, or B, breaking their arrows. So I was uh, very successful at both of those today. This is probably the first time I've been at an archery event that I can remember where I wasn't participating in the event or having a major part in some sort of speaking engagements and things like, things like that. So it was nice just to come here with having no real set schedule and just to be a, a spectator and to actually enjoy every arrow and not have to worry that you have something coming up that you have to get ready for. I think in most sports it's a natural process where where people after they compete, they still enjoy being involved in it. And I'm very thankful to have this opportunity to be here at this world-class event and to watch these amazing archers and amazing athletes perform and do what they do best. Well, it's super important. Um, you know, 96 during the games, I had a, an arrow runner issue where my match against Frangili, um, I shot the three arrows down there uh, the last end and then the second to last end they had six of my arrows down there and I shot my first arrow of the shoot down round so I had my uh, seven arrows down there and they still hadn't brought them back and I didn't want to go that far into my quiver. I liked my first six arrows and so Lloyd actually, it wasn't a postponement but he had to like tell him, get his arrows down here, we need the seven arrows. So it's super important that everyone understands what their role is to keep this whole thing going. That way it kind of everything runs smoothly and you don't cause an interruption for the athlete or the coach to cause them the stress or think about something else other than them trying to shoot that tournament. I know. I have no arrows, so I think I did my job correctly. Back behind the scenes, it's a different perspective than being an archer. You get to see a different side of everything. And it's, it's fun to see how all of it works together to create such a wonderful show and production and to give the athletes the opportunity to compete. I enjoyed competing for many years and uh, really enjoyed that. So it gives me a new appreciation for all of those that helped to host the events that I competed in during that time. Just in the moment when you're actually helping out, it's always nice to have someone that knows how to score arrows and properly pull them out of the target and not bend them and you know, help the volunteers along that may not know exactly what they're doing. So that always um, helps, but just good for us personally just to come out and just give back to the sport, a sport that's given so much to us that just you know, get a chance to come out here and, and do, do our part is always a good thing. Getting 18 today, me and Casey, jeez. Uh, this, this has been a wonderful World Cup final and a wonderful World Championships. Uh, it's had a, had a very nice atmosphere, a very warm and welcoming atmosphere. The World Archery people, the TV crew, the volunteers that have come out here, uh, the staff at the NFA facility, everyone's done a wonderful job in making this a world-class event.